Wow, look at all them moo cows. on a bike. Oops. Daisy with bollocks. How oh, fuck. No. No. See you guys. Okay. I'm going to take this glorious opportunity to remake a video I did this morning. The video I did this morning had the audio muted because I am a tit. Um, it's going to be a lot shorter than this morning's 15 minute rant that didn't have any audio. Basically, the DVLA are pants. When you're buying a new car, take a friend with you who knows what he's doing, unlike this one. Well, he does know what he's doing, he's actually a sound lad and he's helped me a lot. But I'm still going to take the piss out of him because I can. <laughs> um, yeah, just the DVLA are an absolute bunch of cowboys. Brand new website set up for new car taxing and it doesn't fucking work. The phone system doesn't work, the only way to do it is at the post office. Until you get the V5 or V11. New Keeper Supplement's supposed to work online, but doesn't. And probably won't for the next year or so, apparently. Due to the indexing system being out of date on the old ones. Whatever. I didn't take time to read into it. I just spoke to the guy at the post office when he taxed my car. Cha-ching! I have a car now. Problem is, it's got issues. Uh, me and Lewis, the Lewis Vlogs one, are working on them. And rightfully so, considering he's the expert I took with me to view the car, and he's the one who said buy it. So I did. Twat. Nice to actually see the colour of my tyres for a change. They've been so shitted up from the roadworks recently that they've been in different colours. See, I feel a bit more confident with the tyres now because I know they're not caked in shite. Not 100%, but still a bit more confident. Nice indications. Not you absolute fuckhead. Bleh. Topic number two. The other day I was asked um, why I enjoy biking. Uh, by a friend, she's always had cars, she's a car lover, she loves speed. And I was showing off my new car. Because um, I can. And she was like, oh, why have you even got a bike if you've got a car? And I was like, what? Why have you even got a bike if you've got a car now? I'm like, what? Don't even fucking talk to me like that. Sacrilege. So I went on to explain how, you know, she finds it exhilarating sudden speed and the fact that cars can maintain a higher speed and all that lot. You know, world's fastest bike versus world's fastest car bullshit. Fucking chicken. We're in Gary's mode, there's a fucking chicken. Shit! Anyway, sorry. Tangent. Uh, so yeah, I was like, oh, fucking hell. In a nice way, you know, I was like, oh. <laughs> if you can be. So I went on to explain, you know, it's, I don't so much enjoy the speed anymore, because speed's just fucking trouble to anybody who isn't thinking with their fucking head. You know, speed is a fucking killer. No, sorry, technically. Stopping fucking suddenly when going fast is a killer. Speeding is fine. I don't find speed to be that exhilarating. It's effort for me. What I prefer is the exhilaration of knowing that I'm getting this bike through corners with my knee near enough on the deck 
I don't go knee down because there's no need. When you're on the streets, knee down is pointless. But I like getting my bike over, you know, it's nice to roll the bike. That is more of a thrill for me than anything else. Knowing that this bike is held to the road by two tiny pieces of rubber on the side of the wheel. And that all it takes is one fraction of difference in any, any equation. And the bike will slide out from under me or shoot up underneath me and jack me off, you know, not in a good way. It's that, that's what gets me through riding, it's what I ride for, it's that thrill of getting it through the corners with precision, with elegance, doing it right. This whole everywhere, no, that's not for me. Which is why my next bike will be a bit more relaxed, because with a relaxed bike you can generally just rock it through the corners and it's nice, it's cruise. Oh fuck, more voting shit. Um, no, for me that is the greatest thrill of riding, is the fact that you're in control and you're maintaining a two-wheeled vehicle while it's going on its side. There's nothing else like it, I mean, doing that, just putting it through a corner, nicely, smoothly, keeping your line. That for me is the thrill. I love it to bits. I, I, I can't get over it. I never think I will. So that was my response. Also, I called her a caged twat and then left. But, you know. Blah. <laughs> Read into that what you will. Nah, I, love my, I love my two wheels. I love the feeling, the adrenaline of turning. Oh, it's just so much better than a car. Cars are rage cages for a reason. You're sitting in traffic jams, you're turning corners and go, Woo, that was just like every other corner I've ever done. Woohoo! Gigi's. Le little Gigi with long hair. Okay, here's a corner. Look at that. Holding the line, even though it's bumpy as all sin, just holding the line. Oh. That is satisfaction. Not guaranteed, because you might fall off. Great indication! Fucking tard.